Now to the scenes we are witnessing across the country. Americans already casting ballots in record numbers. Take a look at this video here in New York City as early in-person voting began yesterday. Some waiting hours to perform that civic duty. That's in a state that's not even a battleground. We've just learned that more votes have been cast this cycle with nine days to go than all of the early vote in 2016. So what can we learn more from this surge? ABC Stephanie Ramos is here in New York. This weekend, early voting, breaking voter turnout records across the country. More than 93,000 voters turned out to the polls on the first day of early voting here in New York City. Massive lines stretched for blocks with voters determined to make their ballot count, like this mother and her 18-year-old daughter who's voting for the first time. I feel that it is our most fundamental right to vote. Tremendous enthusiasm in a state that's not even up for grabs. When we met Chris Marin, he had been waiting in line for three and a half hours. Well, I'm in this and I'm not going to walk out now. There was a lot of reasons, but the biggest thing right now is the coronavirus. We need leadership right now to get us out of this. It is worth the wait in line. In one of the biggest battlegrounds on the map, Florida, former President Barack Obama blasting the Trump administration's handling of the pandemic. Donald Trump isn't going to suddenly protect all of us. He can't even take the basic steps to protect himself. And encouraging Americans to vote early, explaining how to vote by mail in this video. That's all it takes, everybody. Make a plan, vote early. President Trump casting his own ballot in Florida, in person, joining the more than 58 million Americans who have already voted. That's nearly 43% of the number of votes counted in 2016. And with just nine days to go, President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden now zeroing in on a crucial state. It may come down to Pennsylvania. Nearly 1.5 million Pennsylvanians have already voted by mail. President Trump won the state by just 44,000 votes in 2016. Now he's down by six percentage points, according to 538's polling average, trying to make up ground. Hello, Erie. Remember that great victory we had all along. Miguel Rivera is sticking with President Trump. He's done a lot for the Hispanic and black communities in terms of creating employment. But some 2016 Trump voters telling our Martha Raddatz they're jumping ship. Obama. Trump, and now? Now Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I don't know how you can support him anymore. Voices from voters tonight, and Stephanie Ramos is outside Madison Square Garden. New Yorkers waiting for hours to cast their ballots there this weekend, and this record number of early voting, state election officials cautioning it may take some time to count them all. That's exactly right, Tom. In Pennsylvania, for example, voting early is proving to be more popular with Democrats than Republicans. The Secretary of State saying more than a million ballots that have been returned are from Democrats, nearly 300,000 from Republicans, but those won't be counted until Election Day. So it may be a while before we learn the results from that battleground state. Tom. All eyes on Pennsylvania. All right, Stephanie, thank you. And of course, ABC News will have every step of the campaign covered with live coverage on election night with George, myself, and our powerhouse political team starting at 7 p.m. Eastern on November 3rd, just nine days away. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.